guys so this is my well no this is Koali's two month update I can't believe he's two months I feel like we've had him not long at all or I feel like we've only had him for like I don't know just like a week I mean I don't know um, but if you haven't seen my first Koali update chinchilla update I'll have it linked down below because I only have just one other one um, and then I mean I'm still putting him into a playlist but clearly if you're watching this one, you know what I mean? Okay, so let me go ahead and get started. We don't have very much to talk about. Just have to take a sip of water. Um, except I forgot to grab this thing, so give me a second, you guys. Okay, so Koali, this month, um, we ordered, last month we ordered him a ball and then it came like a couple of days later after I posted his one month update and a girl, a really nice girl, you know, gave me a lot of great information and at the time I had already ordered the ball and I was like, I'll give it a try if something, if it doesn't work out, I'll just return it. Well, I got him a clear ball, looks like this. He freaking loves it. He, um, I've read so much about them. I've read where people say they don't like them because poop gets stuck to their fur or you know, pee will get on them because they cannot get wet, if you didn't know that, um, but, yeah, like, none of that has happened to me yet, um, not saying that it won't, but I haven't had any of those issues, and he doesn't get overheated when he's, like, tired, he'll just sit in his ball, and, like, that's when you know that he doesn't want to play anymore, um, and also... I think that's it. This is a super pet 11 and a half inch. I ordered it from walmart.com. Um, and he really likes it. The poop doesn't, I think the poop doesn't get stuck to his fur though because the ball or the, the lines in this one, the holes in this one are pretty big. So his like, what is it? His poop falls through them. And guys, it looks like I have a streak in my foundation today or something. Like, do you see this line or is it just me? Anyway, so this has been doing him really well, but you do have to be careful because they could overheat from running around in this for too long, um, and also, you know, the poop get, could get stuck in their fur, and same with pee, but that hasn't, he's peed in his ball, but as soon as I see him pee, which is like all the time, I take him out immediately, um, I don't let him run, even though the pee does come out, it's still kind of wet in there, but... He really likes that. Those run a little bit pricey. I think they can go anywhere um, from like 20 20 ish to $30. And I think we got ours on sale at walmart.com for like 22 I want to say 22 Another one of his favorites has been his Timothy Hay Fortify Diet. Or what does it say? Yeah. Oh no. 40 Diet. 40 Diet? Okay. It's just plain old Timothy Hay. Perfect for chinchillas. You can also use this for rabbits or hamsters, but it's just a really, it's a good thing for him to just snack on throughout the day too, um, instead of just having his food all the time. Um, I purchased mine from Walmart and this is a 48 ounce bag for I believe $6.99 or $7.99, but I think it's $6.99. So I thought that was a really good price because I've seen like prices at Petland and another store for like $16.99, which is pretty expensive for the same size bag. And he really, really likes that. He just gives him a handful pretty much every single day. All right. He had an empty this month, but I already filmed this video, and um, so it's not empty at this moment. But inside was his Sensations Chinchilla Formula food. And this one has a bunch of different, like, raisiny type things um there's oats in it and there's also little round looking pellets and then regular pellets um and then we went to our pet leon to get him more food because i wasn't sure how long it was going to last him it ended up lasting him the rest of the month basically or the rest of the week and we were fine but they gave us a whole bag that like probably went up to here of food for him for free and we just had to go back on Friday to go get another full size bag which we did get 
And this one, um, when we first bought him, it was, or when we first got him, it was like $5.99 for the bag, or it was $4.99 for the bag, and now they raised the price to $8.49, so just in case if you guys do go in and see this, and you're like, this was supposed to be $5, and it's not, um, they did raise the price, but he likes this food, um, he hasn't had any issues, he's fine, he's healthy, he's doing just fine with it, um, and then the pellet food, he eats it. The one that the pet land gave us. So he's uh, been liking that too. But we're just going to stick to the other food. Because it's more ready, readily available for us. And then we have picked up these KT Fiesta yogurt dipped treats. Um, in the flavor banana. Um, they're for rabbits, guinea pigs, and or chinchillas. They have vitamin C in them. And I give him one about, I don't know. About two times a week just because this little bag costs like $3.49 or something uh, but yeah he likes them they're basically just a pellet dipped in yogurt um, and my dog actually ate one and he's completely fine so yeah I mean I'm not recommending you to give them to your dog but just in case you have a dog and he may have gotten a hold of one he will be fine um, but yeah, he seems to like these. Like, of course, never give, never overfeed your dogs a bunch of treats or human food, especially not chinchillas. But um, this is just good every once in a while, like after bath time. And I pretty much is like once a week for us. He doesn't get super dirty or anything, but if he does, he will get another bath. Um, and maybe if he was just super good, because some days he will just be really moody. So that's those, and then we also got, he has a poo, you guys, he did not like these. He eats them, but he doesn't really like them. Um, so it's kind of like a once in a while thing. This is the 4T Diet Apple Sticks, um, natural apple wood chews for small animals. Again, you can use it for rabbits or guinea pigs, um, hamsters, gerbils, and other small animals. Um, it promotes healthy teething and gums because they need to chew down their teeth, um, they need to keep... They need to continuously grow, and chinchillas happen to have, sometimes can have problems with their molars, so you always need to have chew toys in there for him. He has tons of chew toys, but I decided to pick this up because it was $2.99, and you always want to use safe wood, and there's certain types of wood that you should use. We went out in our backyard and got some, but you really need to make sure before you give it to your chinchilla. It can't have any sap on it, it can't be from a pine tree, or anything like that with sap in it, so just be really careful, because sap can be toxic. Um... So, just so you guys know, they do offer these if you're looking for something like that. He didn't really like them. Uh, he does have two in there right now, but he didn't really care for them. So, yeah. These were like $2.99, like I said. Or, no, these were $1.99. And, like, everywhere else I've seen them for, like, three fifty or so. So, I thought that was a good deal. What is going on? Is it just me? Because I see this line, like, right here. Do you guys see it? I have no idea. Okay, so that is it for Quali's two-month update. I don't have him here to show you, um, but definitely just be checking out our vlogs. There is one where he takes a bath, and you see him pretty much in every single vlog. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video or if you have any great advice for me, please let me know in the comments down below, as well as check, it, check out my first uh, one month update with Quali down below as well. Um, and yeah, you guys, so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Check out our daily vlogs. And I think that's it. So, bye.